Hey there, I am Lizzie Smiley. I am the podcast host of the How to Sell Your Stuff on Etsy podcast, and I am an Etsy coach. And those who follow me and listen to my podcast and follow my TikToks, they know that I am such a stickler for building an email list, right? Because we love Etsy. It's the best place for a beginner to start, but you can't put all your eggs in one basket. You don't know what will happen down the road. Etsy could change the rules or they could shut down your shop or a whole bunch of things could happen. And I want you to be protected for that. So today I'm going to give you a tutorial of an amazing email tool called Craft Kit that is completely compliant with Etsy. You can integrate it right in and it creates a seamless transition for your purchasers, your customers to then join your email list so you can keep up with them. Let's go take a look. So you can find CraftKit at craftkit.app and it will take you here to their main page where you can read more about them and you can connect your Etsy shop. So you would create your account right here and click boost my shop and it's going to take you through a couple of steps to connect with Etsy through the back office. It's actually amazingly easy. You'll be able to start your 14 day free trial which is crazy generous before like a, a very small monthly payment would begin. So you'll be able to access your back office once you get your login by going to the dashboard. And here's what it's gonna look like. They've already done a lot of the work for you, which is so great. So because this is connected to the back office of your Etsy shop, the things that you naturally do in Etsy are going to trigger certain emails to go out, which is extremely helpful. It doesn't add another task to your list. It just helps you grow your business. So. The first trigger that is gonna happen is when you get a new sale. And because this is integrated again in the back end, you're going to get a totally compliant email that's gonna automatically send, you can see it here. It's the order confirmation. And um, it is already listed as active and it's gonna be sent without delay. So it's gonna be triggered as soon as a new order comes in and it's going to send an email to your customer and you can customize it. So let's click on this and take a look and it's going to tell you here's the name of it so it creates you know automatically creates the the details for it the order confirmation is going to be the trigger and if you look up here in the upper left hand corner it's where you're going to get to see the editor where you can come in here and you can change stuff so it's going to automatically populate their first name from their order it's going to automatically populate their order number and your shop name but again you can come in and customize this for each one to go out what is amazing about this is that it is going to automatically start sending them all this great information. So these are other listings um, from my shop that are some of the best sellers. And this app is smart enough to know from your last year's historical transactional data, what your most popular stuff is and what they might be most um, willing and interested in buying based on their purchase they have already in the system with you. It's starting to just give them a beautiful kind of upsell. This is the best part though. This is called subscribe to our email list. So Etsy has a rule that you can contact your customer reasonably throughout the transaction time of when they make their order about the order. So fair game to send all transactional emails. Thank you for your order. Your order has shipped. We have a problem. It's going to be delayed. I have a question. Anything like that is fair game. But if you want to be able to communicate with those customers after the order, they have to give you permission. Usually that is a detailed situation. You can do it. Um, but this makes it easy because as soon as they click this, subscribe to our email list, they're automatically going to get added to your list right here in CraftKit and you're going to be able to keep in touch with them. There is not some bulky opt-in they have to go through. They don't have to enter anything. They don't have to type and say, okay, all they have to do is click to that and you've got them um, on your list to keep in touch. So Again, here, this is, I'm not trying to go into too much detail for you, but this is where you would do your subject line. This is where you would, you know, update, you can update this. Um, when you click in here, it gives you all of these choices, right? So they've got your standard text stuff where you can add a link. You can just change your paragraph formation, your alignment, all of that with your text. And then here, it's going to show you some of the other things that you can add. So if you wanted to add another text box, you wanted to adjust your product recommendations, um, something, some, you know, you have a different way you want to go with it, or you want to add a different kind of button like this one, here's where you can make some of those adjustments. So, um, and then it's gonna keep track of your stats. It's gonna keep track of the emails that, that have gone out so you can see who's received it. Um, and the stats will tell you who opened it. One trick that I thought was so cool is that if you add a link, you wanna, you wanna put the link here. So you can do custom or you can do it to your shop or you can do it to having them join your list or, um, it'll, or automatically send the tracking information. So user friendly. But if you do a custom one, like let's say you want to send them to your Instagram or to your 
um, personal website or whatever, you can enter that link here to go here into the text and you can give it, you wanna give it a name because what's gonna happen is the name that you put here is what's gonna track in your stats to tell you how many clicks you got there. So for example, for those of you who are maybe not as techy, um, you would type in, uh, let's see, this is just a, a dummy um, example, right? You're gonna do your own, but you would put that there and then you'd say Etsy, and apply, and there it is. And it's clickable and trackable in your stats. That's gonna be super helpful for you as you grow. So let's take a look at some of the other campaigns. Something important to note about this is that as soon as you integrate, this is automatically active. So as soon as you click that connect, this is gonna start sending. So you're gonna to want to, when you create your account, come in here pretty quickly and make any edits you want um, and or deactivate it for now. That just means you're turning that campaign off so that it won't automatically send to your new order. So you would just click deactivate and then you wanna make sure and save campaign. Um, but that is where you can make those edits and it is super, super user-friendly. The next one, Feedback request, this would be after an order. It's naturally deactivated, but this is where you can send a follow-up. Um, it's really smart sometimes to follow up with a customer, make sure there aren't any problems, because if you do that proactively, you're less likely to get um, a bad review because you're already checking in to see. And then they also just feel cared about in the transaction. So we did the order confirmation. I just did the del deliver. Let's, so let's go back and order confirmation, deactivate that. I don't want that sending automatically right now. And then shipment confirmation. So this integrates with USPS and UPS and FedEx. Um, and what it will do is it will automatically when you when you your um, when your product is shipped, literally when you complete the shipping instructions over on Etsy, you either print your your printing label, your shipping label there, or your third party if you use someone like Pirate Ship. Whenever Etsy switches over to okay, this product has been shipped, it triggers here into CraftKit and the shipment confirmation will send to your customer automatically. So can you imagine, is that gonna save you some time in the DMs? So I'll go ahead and deactivate this one right now too. But this is exactly where you can come in and make all those same adjustments in the editor. Everything is so customizable for your own shop. Um, and I love how you can customize, this is, this is like my shop picture. So if you have a logo, it's gonna show your logo here. So super customizable, super personal to your brand. Um, and there are places too, I don't think I showed you this, where you can change the colors in here as well. So um, that's really nice for you to customize to your brand colors. The other campaign we didn't talk about is delivery confirmation. This is so nice because this again is integrated with the shipping companies and it is going to automatically email them when your Etsy order updates in the in the shipment tracking information as arrived. So Etsy doesn't automatically send that for you at all. This is gonna be extremely helpful for them to receive. The next important thing to note is on this dashboard, when you scroll to the bottom, it's gonna give you some stats here as well. It's gonna tell you how many customers have been emailed in the last 30 days and how many in total, like in the lifetime. And it's gonna tell you the attributable revenue, which means it's gonna to try to track um, through the emails that, get, that go out. And when people click on those suggested things, it's gonna track how many of those were clicked on and purchased so that you can see how much craft kit is doing for you. You can actually validate the quality of the tool and that it's creating sales. So it's gonna track this for you and give you a really good sense um, of, of how many sales you're getting from using this email platform. And then of course, it's gonna show you how your list is growing by telling you how many contacts you have and how many you've gotten in the last 30 days. So um, an important thing to note here, when, like I said, Etsy only allows you to send transactional emails. So they have to click that subscribe um, button within the email to join your list. And that's where you're gonna see these contacts here. So this isn't gonna be every single contact that has ever come through as an order. This is just gonna be the ones that have clicked that button. And you also can use this here, it's called subscribe page. And if you go here, you can get a link that is specific to you. Let me show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna copy it and put it here in another browser screen. And here's where you can just be using this link wherever you want to get people on your email list and they can join and become a part of your newsletter. Um, this part isn't customizable yet because I know some of you are gonna be wondering, but most people are gonna be going in through that button where they're not even gonna have to take this step. I just wanted you to know that it's here in case you wanna be including it in your um, in your product listings, you know, or in your um, 
in your shop front, like maybe up in the announcement, you could have this link there. And you could also add some kind of an incentive, right? You can say, um, join my join my email list and get a 10% off coupon. And what's gonna happen next is, CraftKit is gonna keep storing your contacts, the ones that either fill out that form or click that subscribe button, and they're gonna be right here in your contacts listed, okay? And then from here, you, you can create a drip campaign, which is again where there is a trigger. The trigger is they join your list and then CraftKit continues to send out a stream of emails that you prepare ahead of time to send to them. You can't do one-offs, um, but it's still pretty easy because you can, you can actually export your contacts over into something like a MailChimp, which is a free email service, or a Klaviyo, which is a free email service. And that's where you can do things like tell them about your Christmas special or something that's really time specific, as opposed to just the general emails that are gonna go out to them once they join your list. So that's called a drip campaign where you're dripping on them with you know maybe once a week or so or, or twice a month with something like, um, okay, so they join your list and maybe right away you send over, thanks so much for joining us. Here's the 10% off coupon I promised you. I hope you enjoy it. We look forward to doing business with you. And then maybe a week or two later, you sent another one that's already formed in here. I'm going to show you where to do that. And it's going to send to them. It's going to be like, here's our story. Like, we're so glad you're a part of our story. And then you're going to you know, maybe do a little bit of background about how you started your shop. And, and then you can do another one, two, you know, one to two weeks later. And you can have a whole campaign of several emails that go out over time. Um, that are calculated to go as people join the list. And you can do things like behind the scenes or if you have a really cool process or um, like for me, since I sell wall art, I could send them like design suggestions or styling suggestions. Um, you know, if you're selling clothing, you could set, sh show them different ways that they can style their clothes. If you're selling something digital, you can show them different ways to use their products, things like that. So you're going to drip on them over time. It's going to help them remember you for the next time they need a product like yours. It's going to help you sell more because you're reconnecting with people who already know, like, and trust you because they've bought before. So let's go take a look at what it would look like to create that drip campaign. We're going to go back up to the left hand um, top side here and we're going to click back on campaigns. So if you want to start a drip campaign where when people join your subscribe list, they're going to continue to get emails from you. That's what you use this new campaign button for. So you would click new campaign and you can give it a name like test. You can give it a subject like, so this would be they just joined your list. So let's say you're offering them a discount. You could say here's your 10% off. And you want to come down and then change the event because it's not from the time the order is created. This is a contact creation. This is They've been added to your list and we're going to initiate this, this new form of contact so we can keep up with them even after their transactions over. Content creation, click that. And then you can tell them when you want it to go. So this one we want to leave because we want it to go out right away. They, they want to get their coupon quickly. This is all set up perfectly. So we're gonna hit start editing and this is where you can come in and create the email. You know, here's, and then you'd give them, you know, your Etsy coupon code from the marketing section on Etsy, your, and you'd fill this whole part out. And then when you're ready, you hit publish and you come back over to the overview and you can activate that campaign. You'd have to click activate and save campaign. And then it would be over in your campaigns. And then let's say you wanted to create the next one for seven days later because we're trying to build a relationship, right? You'd click new campaign again. You'd say, maybe you'd call it for yourself seven day. And then it would be, um, you know, we're so glad you're part of our story. And then that, again, you want to change the event to contact creation because this is what you want to create the, the drip campaign. You don't want it to be one of the standard transactional um, items. And then this is where you would tell it where. So this would be seven days after they join the list. The other one with the coupon, they're going to get right away. Now we're going to drip on them seven days later and tell them a little bit about our story so you could then come in and tell a bit about your shop story. Um, and, and remember, you can come in and you can add product recommendations again. Um, you know, you might like one of these best sellers. So you can have your product recommendations in here and you can write the whole text of the email and you know, here's our story. And you can type all that in. And again, you're dripping on them. So then you'd publish. 
and go back, activate it, save, and there you have it. Now when you go back to overview, or back to campaigns, <laughs> you're gonna see under the contact creation, you've got one that goes out right away, you've got one that goes out in seven days, and you would keep creating them. You can do it for, I think, at least up to a year. You can keep creating them so that for a year they're getting dripped on with like the standard stuff that we talked about. So again, if you wanted to let them know about the Christmas sale, that's a separate platform. You're gonna, you're gonna then export your contacts over into a MailChimp or a Klaviyo or some other email provider. Isn't it wonderful you get to keep these email addresses because they joined your list and you can send more of the one-offs that way. And that's how that would work. So I hope this has given you a taste. There is so much you can do back here. There, It's so wonderful that once you build these campaigns, they can run on autopilot. It's not gonna create a whole lot of work for you every day. What it's gonna do is really build your business to a sustainable, repeat customer filled, follow-up filled, not putting all your eggs in one basket deal, right? Because you can take these emails, you can keep up with the people who stay on your list. And if anything were to happen, if you were to start your own separate shop and leave Etsy, if, if you were to have um, a problem with Etsy where you didn't want to work with them anymore, or they shut down your shop, or they changed their rules, you're going to have contacts. You're going to have a customer base that is yours, that you got in a totally legal and compliant way and be able to continue building your business. This is the most important thing for you to do. Again, I tell beginners, start with Etsy. It's awesome. Figure out how it works. Figure out how to sell. Immediately start building an email list with a tool like CraftKit if you can. And then from there, over time, if you really want to grow, you can move and also add your own website or switch to your own website, but you're going to have your email list so you have an asset to take with you. This is super, super powerful. So CraftKit has been super kind to give me a 50% off coupon code for you. So you can find my link and my code, which is the word smiley. It's my last name, S-M-I-L-E-Y. And that's going to get you 50% off your first three months with CraftKit. It is a steal. It is so easy to start with that 14-day trial. Just grab my link so you get the discount after that. And happy building. You're going to be building a legacy now. And I'm so excited to share this with you. Let me know if you have any questions and get started. This is a great tool for you.